Hey everyone, Shannon here. I'm going to show you how to take this 16 by nine, nice horizontal video here and create a vertical version. Now, the important thing about this is if you're working for a client or if you're even doing this for yourself, pre-plan. If you know you want a mobile version of a video like this, that takes a lot of work. You're working a lot in After Effects or DaVinci. You're, you're using all of these shapes and all these transitions. It's very intricate. You don't want to do all this work and then have it cut off. There are ways that we can make both versions while keeping the integrity and the storyline of the video intact. Uh, so I will show you how to do that. And it does require some editing. It requires some forethought. So the first way that we can do this is we can plan out before actually making this video to give ourselves more real estate in the widescreen version, the 16 by nine version, because what's going to happen is if I go up to file new sequence or control N and I want to make my vertical video sequence. So this is a 16 by nine video. It's just going to be nine by 16 and Premiere has some uh, presets for you and we're going to hit OK and we have our vertical video in there. If you didn't have presets and wanted to create this, we would just go to new sequence again, file new sequence and we can create one. So if we go to our settings, you will see 1080 by 1920. It becomes that nine by 16. That's what we need. But if we went 1920, by 1080, you see that we get this 16 by nine. So that again, that makes it horizontal, but the vertical is just flipped. So again, file new, new sequence settings. We want that 1080 by 1920 and we get that vertical sequence. Now what we can do and what everybody pretty much wants to do is we drag our or copy our full finished video, our horizontal video, we slap it on there. And this is what happens. We get the black bars, which is not what we want. It's going to happen anyway, if we did not do this. And that's fine. That's fine. It could, it could look like this on mobile. And some people like that. Some people are fine with that. But if we really want a fully immersive integrated experience, we can, there's some things we could do. So we'll have to do some editing. So for example, let's just say, um, I really want this text to show. We'll scale it up and we really want this to show first. So that comes in and we'll start our video there. So that comes up on mobile. And let's just say, I want to show the pictures of those workers that we had. That's enough time. And maybe we'll do, we'll go into our effects panel and we'll do a push and we'll have a push right here. So we did that. Maybe we'll have this push go the opposite way just to give it some change up pacing. There you go. So pre-planning is the best. What I would suggest highly, highly recommend in your vertical video is giving yourself room. So not taking up the whole entire real estate of the widescreen because we're going to have to do some fine editing such as this to, to tell the story and to get everything that we need to on the screen. Uh, cause we don't want to compress anything. So, and we don't want the black, the black lines above. So if we had, if we did not take up all the real estate on the screen, if we kind of kept everything just centered, uh, without doing anything on the ends, probably we could just plop that video in and it would, we could scale it a little bit and it would work for vertical video. So it's all about pre-planning, but there are ways with editing magic <laughs> and some fine, fine tuning and cutting and some transitions that we can make a mobile version 
of this video that's just as good. Again, pre-plan your videos, especially if they're for a client, even for yourself, save yourself some time. Know that if it's gonna be vertical, you're gonna need the space to do that. And even maybe plan the vertical video first if that's your priority. So it's all about making sure what's important to you so that you can tell the story. If you'd like more tutorials, uh, please comment down below. I take tutorial requests. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, as always, keep creating.